Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, Siemens HMI and SCADA specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to utilize the slide-in screens on a Siemens comfort panel. The first thing that we need to do is go over to our uh, project tree, and then we need to locate screen management. So that's right over here. I expand out screen management, and then we need to locate slide-in screens and expand that out. There are four slide-in screens that are available for you to select from. These are screens that will slide up from the bottom, slide in from the left, in from the right, or down from the top. So in this lesson, we are going to utilize the slide in screen left. So the first thing that we need to do is double click on slide in screen left, and then that will open that up in the editor. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color. So I'm going to select the drop down, and I'm going to pick a different background color. So that way it's very, you know, you can differentiate it, you know, from the other uh, background screens that we have. In order to use a slide-in screen, we actually do have to enable or check the enable box so that this slide-in screen is available for use. The next thing that we need to do is select layout, and then we need to set the size, which is really the width of the slide-in screen uh, from the left. So if I want to make it bigger, I can increase it, you know, or I could just type in a number. You know, so I can use the up and down arrows to increase, decrease, or type in a number to make it bigger or smaller. The next thing I need to do is configure the handle. In this example, from a visibility, what we're going to do is we're going to say never show a handle, and we're going to use push buttons to control whether the slide-in screen becomes visible or it goes away. So the slide-in screen is configured. It's ready to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a text object on the screen. And I'm going to call this one slide in from left screen. All right, and I can position that up towards the top. And if I scroll down, I can actually put a button since we have the slide in screen open. I will put a close button on the screen. So what I'll do is I will put a button on the screen and I will call this one close. When I have the close button selected, I will pick the events tab and then I will go to the press event. So under functions, when I select add function area, I've got a drop down on the far right hand side. So I will select this. Then what I will do is locate the screens area. And then within the screens area, there's a function that's called show slide in screen. So I will select the show slide in screen because that is the function that we can use to show the slide-in screen or close the slide-in screen. What's shown in pink here is the actual slide-in screen that we need to select. So I will select the Browse button, and I will pick the slide-in screen left because that's the one that I want to control. Instead of doing a toggle here, what I will do is I will select Off, because when the slide-in screen is shown, when I press the Close button, I want to make the slide-in screen go away. Now I will go back to my home screen, and I will add in another push button. So what I'll do is I'll put a push button object on the screen here. And this one is going to be called Show Slide In Left. So when I select the Show Slide In Left, I want to make sure I've got the Events tab selected, and I will select the Press. Now in the Add Function area, I could browse you know, for the different categories of functions, or I can start typing in the name of a function if I know it. So I will type in Show S, and then that will filter, and then I will see that I've got the Show Slide In Screen function available for selection. So again, in the screen name parameter, I would need to select the left slide in screen. So I'll pick that, select the green checkbox. Now in this case, instead of it being a toggle function, I will use the on function. So now when I press this button during runtime, that will cause the slide in screen to show from the left. So what I will do is I'll select my HMI, I will save it, and I will start the simulation. So when we start the simulation, you can see the project is compiling. The runtime will start, and then I will be able to test our development. So now I've got a button up here that says Show Slide In Left. If I press that, that will cause the screen to slide in from the left. Now if I press the Close button, that will cause that Slide In screen to go away. So in this lesson, I showed you how to implement a slide-in window on the Siemens Comfort Panel.